evening, morning, afternoon, everybody. Rob, reseller guy, coming to you with my retake of about 182 tries on this new damn um, camcorder that I bought. And I'm out in my man cave, and it's extremely hot. So hopefully, I don't pass out before I complete the video. Um, it's about 100 degrees outside, outside in California. So I'm a little toasty. So. What you see here on the desk, you saw, you're about to see, I'm going to show you uh, what all, everything but the AT&T phone um, systems are going to go on Amazon. Those two are going on eBay simply because I couldn't get a, um, approved to ship them there. Um, so I spent a total, if you can see that, 125 for everything on you see here on the table. So let's start this off. We'll, we'll show you right here. I left the prices on what I paid for these things, so you'll see them. So here it is the AT&T corded answering system. It's got the big buttons and large numbers, so basically it's geared toward like the elderly. Um, paid nine dollars each for those. They're going for I think it was fifty some dollars. Um, for e on eBay um, so we'll see how those are gonna go let's start off what we're we gonna start off with here first so let me get my Amazon seller app going eh, only sold three items in seventeen dollars today so I'm not really ripping it but we'll go anyways so omega-3 vitamins I paid six dollars a piece these are the 120 count, so I'm just going to use the seller's app, scan them. Now i got to find them because I remember this one's like down on the bottom. And of course my allergies are acting up. So right now they're going for $29.99. I don't know if you can see that. The good news is, as you look at it, there's no FBAs. So when I send these in, I'm probably going to go a little bit higher simply because there's nobody else selling them right now. Uh, let's see what the next one is. We're going to go a little lutein, some kind of vitamin. I paid $3 a piece for those. And let's see what we got. Not a home run hitter there. $12.32. Let me see it or not. There we go. There are three other um, FBAs on there, so I'll undercut them a little bit and list them on there. And let's see what else here. Let's go with this Rim Fresh Advanced Iron Powder, whatever. This is something to help you sleep, I guess. $5. If I remember right, the barcode on this one doesn't work, and I had to. Oh, no, nope, there it is. Okay, so five dollars I spent, and they're going for ten dollars and twenty cents. Now they've dropped. They were higher when I bought them, but because I've been trying to get this damn video taken care of so much, um, you know, I haven't had a chance to get them shipped in there. And I'm going to try and get them today, but it's not looking that hot because I had a pretty good day on eBay sales. So next one we've got these. This is for like, I guess, a rash relief. And let's see what we find on this one. I think this is the one that I had to scan because it's coming up a different listing. I mean, uh, they'll use the photo res recognition. You know what I mean? So let's see here. The only problem is they're coming in pack one. This is it here. Um, there was there a two pack. I know that. That's what it was. Yeah. Here's the home run hitter. Let's see here. So packs of three. Wait a minute. Is this packs of two? Yeah, packs of two. My bad. So packs of two. They're going for $24.95. I basically paid a dollar. 
and I'm going to make some pretty good money on those. I've got three. I got a total of, you know, I'm going to send in three sets of two. So that's a pretty good haul right there. And let's see what else we've got. These things. Some kind of cleaner to clean, I guess, your lenses or whatever. And let's see what we got here. Uh, quite a bit of um, FBAs. There's 15 of them. Going for what is it? 15.29. Let's just see. After fees, I'm probably going to make only a couple bucks. Yeah, five dollars and seventy cents. But that's fine. I'll take five dollars any day. And then let's see. Here's these right here. It is. I'll show you the price. There's the mini H203. I have three of those. And I paid seven dollars a piece. Two of them are going on eBay. One is going on Amazon. And the reason being is, is right now on eBay they're going a little bit for a little better price. So let me see if I can show you what it shows. Yeah, see the problem with this is there's like, like two barcodes right next to each other. So now this one's a, this one shows a red one, but basically, nah, that's not gonna work because I don't have red and that's gonna skew everything up. So let me go back again, see if I can find it. If not, I'll go into my actual um, list because I have it listed already. Oh, there we go. Actually, crap! I wish I had a red one. They're worth more money. So here's another good reason: nineteen ninety nine. But if you look, there's no FBA. Um, now on eBay, they're going for the high. I think it's twenty five dollars. So that's why I'm, put, you know, hedging my opportunity and putting them over on eBay. So now I bought a total of nine of these things at three dollars a piece, and I'll tell you what they're going for. <clears throat> And like last time, I think I couldn't, the barcode wasn't reading it, so I had to go and scan the picture of it. <coughs> and you have to scroll down until you find them. Oh, that's nicotine gum. And let's see here. Let me just scroll down. Here they are. No. Yep, see, these are two packs. They're going for almost $14 a piece. So let me show you what I'll make on these things. I'll make $5.27. Now, a lot of you people out there are saying that that's not a good profit, that's not a good return, that's not a good ROI. Um, are you to say that is a good ROI? You know, $5? You know, most of the things I make. I sell right now I'm getting anywhere from two dollars to ten dollars that's kind of where I'm trying to be although I will take a dollar profit on anything I sell whether it be on eBay or Amazon I will take a dollar profit um, you know that's just the way I am I'm not gonna blow a potential sale because I don't want to make more than a dollar so that's something you guys have to decide on your own where you want to be and what you want to make. To me, making a dollar is fine. If I make back my initial investment plus I make a dollar, that's a good deal. That's a good day for me. A lot of people say I'm nuts, I'm not going to work, but I'm in accounting. So if the numbers match and they make good sense to me, I'm going to do it. That's why I'm you know, slowly uh, picking up my inventory for Amazon. Um, eBay is pretty good. I mean, I'm still looking at getting more product. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to start doing one thing I really don't like doing is going to more garage sales and seeing what I can find there. Uh, thrifting more, I'm going to be doing that. You know, Goodwill, Savers, uh, Opportunity House, things that are in my area. <laughs> that I could go and look for, you know, like, you know, up here I had, you know, the videos 
the Nerf guns. I got those at Goodwill. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> I think I want to say too, a lot of people are going to say, well, I can't sell vitamins and I can't sell, you know, rash things or, you know, whatever these things, sleep aids. What I do, and anybody can do it, is when I go to stores, if I'm, of course now, any store I go to, I'm looking for the clearance section, I'm looking for deals, period. Just something that I've ingrained in my brain, no matter where I'm at, what it is, I'm going to see if I can, if I can make money on it, I'm going to buy it. So that's another mentality set that you guys have to get into. But anyways, to begin with, on Amazon, you obviously know you mostly are limited to selling books. Fine. I just sent in about 40 books to Amazon. Average price I'm going to make on those is a dollar to 50 cents to three dollars. But I had them. I got rid of them. That's just what you got to do. But anyways, back to my story. So the, the, the reason is you have to scan everything. Everything. And if you're not if you're restricted in it, request not to be. What's the worst that can happen? You won't get re you won't get released or uh, unrestricted. Well, some of the top Amazon sellers are restricted on a lot of things, so you have to be able to just keep scanning to get approval. You may not you know it may not even be worth buying at the time, but it may go on sale, and then now you're approved, so go buy it, and then you can sell it and make your money. But I scan everything, everything. <clears throat> I try and really, honestly, you know, things like you got to have expiration dates and crap like that, you know. Yeah, they're a pain in the hiney, they're a pain in the butt. These are only good till August 20th, August 20. So that's good. That's a, you know, I got some time. These things here, you know, they are 8 of 21. So they can sit on Amazon for a while, but they won't because that's another thing. In the Scottify 2 app, let me just show you what one of these. This, let me bring one up here. We'll do the Omega, and I'll tell you. I'll show you what I see. <clears throat> Man, it's hot in here. Okay. So you want to make sure you see the ones that you have. This is it right here. So. They are saying right now a list of uh, 1728, which is lower than I believe what Amazon was. So, this one actually has a lower return too. But for my $6 investment, you can see it there. Uh, come on, focus. And I can't get any closer than that. It's not going to pick up. Basically, what it's showing is is 34.71 ROI. So it's saying here I net two dollars and forty-three cents. I think it was more than that. But the thing is, this also tells you there's no FBAs. If I remember right, there was no FBAs, and there's nobody selling used ones, obviously, because no one's going to want to buy used gummy bear or used vitamins. <coughs> but if you saw that it was within my wheelhouse and that means you know it was in the top 10 percent selling items on Amazon and it was actually I think at three so that means that that's thing and those aren't going to stay very long so my profits gonna be quick so that's another thing too you know do you want to spend you know the money to make a dollar when you can turn it quickly yes are you gonna spend a dollar and have things sit for over a year no that's why you want to get the Scottify 2 app. Um, it has increased my potential buying and what I buy dramatically. Um, I'm not getting paid to endorse it, but it's a damn good product. Um, so you want to look into that. I mean, I think it's uh, 40 or $50 a month. And you got to have a, what is it, um, Inventory Lab account. I don't even use Inventory Lab. A lot of people that I talk to and follow do but I don't have the time to I don't do that so I basically print all my app my labels out upload my stuff and then I ship it off to Amazon simple and quick I don't keep you know I keep track of what my investment is I keep track of what I'm making yes 
kind of stupid if I'm not an accounting why I wouldn't do that but anyways uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up I'm getting extremely hot starting to sweat um, and I gotta try uh, to get this list put in the box and shipped out to Amazon I don't think I'm going to um, but I got also sold stuff on eBay that I got to pack and get ready for ship shipping so um, basically you know when you're out wherever you are every store is a potential money maker I don't care if you're selling feminine hygiene products to bras to baseball bats to gloves to you know hammers drills screwdrivers whatever if you can make money at it on it do it I don't don't be worried about freaking out if you're in the female section of the store and you're, scan, you're scanning Kotexes or tampons or what have you if you can make money on it and you can sell it on Amazon do it alright Rob reseller guy I'm signing out hopefully this video works I'm getting really tired of trying this crap um, this was a high rated video camera that I went and we'll see how it goes alright guys like and subscribe. See you later.